Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I have a full review on HP Omen 15 inch laptop. Let's go. This laptop comes with Ryzen 5 5600H and integrated AMD Radeon graphics. It is equipped with RTX 3060 along with 16GB of DDR4 memory with dual channel supported. For storage, it comes with 512GB of NVMe PCIe M.2 SSD card. The screen is 1080p IPS panel. The screen's response time is 7 milliseconds and has 300 nits of brightness. The color gamut of this screen is 72% NTSC, which means 99% of sRGB coverage for color accuracy. The power adapter is 200 watts and it has 6 cell 70 watts hour lithium ion battery. For keyboard, it has 4 zones of RGB lighting which can be controlled using Omen Light Studio. The trackpad is quite big and clicky. For I.O. we have charging port followed by Ethernet port followed by Type A USB port with charging capabilities and one full standard HDMI port, a headphone jack and a SD card slot. On the other side we have one type C USB port with charging capabilities, one display port and two USB type A port. On the back of the laptop we have thick rubber on top and on the bottom and in the middle we have a big ventilation to let the air flow in and let it out from the back of the laptop. On the sides we can see left and right speaker output. The top part of the laptop can be flexed all the way down up to 180 degree. Enough with the specs and build quality, let's have a look at the benchmark. The laptop was tested using Cinebench R23 which got us 1291 for a single core and 8481 for multi core. To benchmark GPU, I rendered 12 minutes long HD video with 60 frames, which took about 269 seconds to render. For RAM module, we can see it is a DDR4 memory with dual channel supported. It has 22 clocks of cache latency. It has 3200 MHz of speed, which turns out to be 13.75 of true latency. What this number tells us is, how fast a RAM module is able to access specific sets of data. For SSD, we can see it has 3500 megabits per second for read and 2900 megabits per second for write. But with using Crystal Disk Mark, we can see we got the following results. The keyboard has four zones of lighting which can be controlled using Light Studio. There are various effects you can apply such as static, wave, ambient, color cycles and many more. You can control individual zone and their speed using layers. The typing on this keyboard sounds like this. The keys are very responsive even with the slightest touch, which is good. The number of key rolls are also high, which is good when typing fast. The trackpad is huge, smooth and clicky, which is good, but however, it does get in your way when you're typing. The screen comes with 300 nits of brightness. You can see its max brightness here.
voice recording in this laptop sounds like this. Hello guys, how are you? Here we see the unnamed asteroid about to commit species height. Mm. Larger than Mount Everest, it reaches from the ocean high into the atmosphere. Higher than passenger planes would fly millions of years later. At this moment, the world... This is the front facing camera and it records in 720p. For GPU, I have tested four games under performance mode. Let's have a look at the average frame rates. Another way around. You must be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. That's it. what are you doing? Get him!
Sunday afternoon, they're all picking. They don't want to hear what we're playing. Go home. Watch the family special. Channel X. Oh For my final thoughts, I'm gonna talk about the pros and the cons about this laptop. Let me get started with the cons about this laptop. First off, we have battery. The battery life is very short, about three and a half hour, and it takes about 110 to 120 minutes to fully charge from zero to 100%. Next, the edge of the laptop is sharp and you start to notice it when resting for long period of time. The chassis is prone to grease and it leaves a lot of fingerprints and grease. The screen is very flexible and it flexes a lot even with the slightest touch. The screen can also be pushed down due to the depth in keyboard layout. The wires on power adapter is loose and it keeps disconnecting from time to time which is very annoying. Now let's talk about the pros about this laptop. The upgradability is very good. The laptop has two SSD card slot. One is already equipped with 512 GB of SSD and the other one is empty. However, both can be upgraded. Similarly, we have two slots for RAM. Both are equipped with 8 GB of RAM and they both can be upgraded. The upgrading itself is very easy. Another thing I like about this laptop is its cooling system. It is very quiet and very cool when on idle. I also like the design of this laptop. The performance is also good considering the price point. After looking at the pros and the cons, I give a very big thumbs up for this laptop. However, I do not recommend this laptop for students as it is heavy to carry and it has short battery life so guys how do you like my video if you have any concern leave a comment down below and i will try to answer them